our patient here has stage two posterior tibial tendon dysfunction. And this occurs, or this problem occurs when the tendon on the inside of the ankle called the posterior tibial tendon, which supports your arch, gets diseased and it stretches out over time. And when that occurs, the arch collapses and it can give patients chronic pain of the posterior tibial tendon and make it difficult to walk as well as trouble with shoe wear. And so when conservative treatment, such as bracing, anti-inflammatories, art supports, correct shoes aren't working, what we do is a reconstructive procedure where we not only uh, remove the disease tendon and replace that, we also cut the heel bone in two places and realign these two bones to shift the foot to build an arch. Okay, so here you can see the calcaneus here. And so what we did is we made a little mark here where we're gonna cut the calcaneus. Then using this saw blade, we're gonna go ahead and cut that bone all the way through almost to the other side of the bone. And then we'll open that part of the bone just by spreading it. And then we will shift that over and we'll place a couple screws from here to uh, hold that uh, bone aligned correctly. Now we've cut the heel bone, you can see that. And so now what we'll do, we will shift the heel bone over like that, you can see, to move it over to the inside. And then we will make a small incision here and put two screws to hold that. So here you can see what we call an axial view with the uh, calcaneus or heel bone in a light, full alignment or vertically. And, and you can see the two screws that are holding the osteotomy or the cut part of the bone here and you can see how it's shifted over here about a centimeter is what we're aiming for. And then here you can see the side view of uh, the cut that was here and the two screws that we put to hold it. Okay now we've made a second incision here on the side of the foot and this is the side portion of the calcaneus we call it the anterior process so now what we'll do is we'll make another cut right along this line here and we will put a block of bone there to lengthen the outside of the foot to swing it back this way. And we'll use a uh, pre-made cadaver block of bone specific to this uh, particular osteotomy to do this. Okay, so after we cut the bone, the anterior process, you can see we put this block of bone in here. It's a pre-shaped block of bone, and that serves to lengthen this bone. We call that a lateral column lengthening. And then here you can see this one screw that we've put to hold that block of bone in there to allow it to heal to the, uh, her bone. So now we made an incision on the inside of the ankle to address her diseased tendon. So we made an incision there and then we opened up the tendon sheath or the lining of the tendon. You can see uh, all this fluid coming out of the tendon, which occurs when the tendon's been chronically diseased over time. So now we will look at the tendon and in all likelihood it will be very thickened and diseased. So let's see here. So this is the posterior tibial tendon here, and you can see all the erythema, the redness here of the tendon. There's a lot of inflammatory tissue here, and you can see how thick the tendon is. You can see it's really supposed to be more like up here, where it's this nice white shiny appearance and relatively thin. You can see here as it gets down to its insertion, where it hooks up into the navicular bone, uh, it's, very, it's become very thickened and diseased in this region due to the chronic uh, tugging of the tendon and 
it subsequently elongates, leading to the uh, flattening of the foot. So now that we've corrected the arch, we'll uh, go ahead and we'll remove uh, the tendon here, and we will find a tendon right below it called the flexor digitorum longus, which goes to the little toes, and we'll transfer that to the uh, navicular to essentially take the place of the diseased posterior tibial tendon. So here we've removed the diseased portion of the posterior tibial tendon, and you can see how thick the tendon is and what we call chronic tendinosis, this yellow appearance from the chronic inflammation and subsequent disease of the tendon. So this is the flexor digitorum longus tendon that we will be transferring to the navicular to substitute for the posterior tibial tendon, which was diseased. So we'll, we will put an anchor in the bone and rehook this up here, and that will then serve the function as of the posterior tibial tendon. And then we will close this tissue and the skin, and we'll be all done.